Hello, this is Inspire99. In this video, we are going to show you eight incredible bodybuilders who missed out on the Mr. Olympia title. The largest bodybuilding competition in the world is called Mr. Olympia. Every professional bodybuilder hopes to win the competition since the Mr. Olympia champion is regarded as the greatest bodybuilder in the world for that particular year. Several sportsmen devote many years to their pursuit, yet only one bodybuilder each year is able to hoist the Sando Trophy. The fact that the Mr. Olympia crown has only changed hands 16 times in the sport's 57-year existence speaks much about how hard it can be to win. Bodybuilders that win the championship typically keep it for a number of years. For eight years each, Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman held the Mr. Olympia title. In these 16 years, several top bodybuilders came very close to capturing the crown but were unable to add their names to the list of Mr. Olympia victors. This piece recognizes the eight bodybuilders who came close to earning their first Mr. Olympia crown but were unable to do so. Additionally, several of these bodybuilders even made a comeback years later to try their luck at taking home the Mr. Olympia crown one final time since their ambition to win the competition was that intense. As they are on this list, it should go without saying that they were unsuccessful in obtaining the Sando Trophy. 8 Incredible Bodybuilders Who Missed Out on the Mr. Olympia Title here are the eight bodybuilders who were widely regarded as deserving of the Mr. Olympia title without further ado. 1. Kenneth Flex Wheeler One of the most genetically talented bodybuilders of all time is Flex Wheeler. He was known as the Sultan of Symmetry and finished three Olympia competitions in the runner-up position thanks to his incredible muscular symmetry, balance, fitness, and round and full muscle bellies. The two others were placed below Ronnie Coleman in the 1993 second place result, which was behind Dorian Yates. In addition, he finished third at the 2000 Olympia, behind Kevin Leverone and Coleman. Yates, a six-time Olympian, asserted in an interview that Wheeler would have won the 1994 Olympia if it were not for his automobile accident. In the classic physique category of the 2017 Olympia, Wheeler made a comeback and placed 15th. In retrospect, Wheeler's luck was not on his side. He was born with a renal condition called focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. Due to his medical condition, the four-time Arnold Classic champion had to have a partial limb amputated in 2019. After contracting COVID-19, he was subsequently hospitalized and in critical condition. He eventually underwent shoulder surgery. Wheeler won the first-ever Olympia Inspiration and Courage Award for his tenacity and fortitude in 2020, and he will be honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2023 Arnold Classic. Wheeler will always be known as the people's champ despite never having ascended to the pinnacle of Olympia. 2. Kevin Levron Kevin Levron and Flex Wheeler at the 1991 NPC Nationals When it comes to bodybuilders who did not take home the Mr. Olympia crown, Kevin Levron has the most podium wins. He placed second four times, and three times he placed third. <laughs> In his first season, Levron won two professional events and finished second to Yates in the 1992 Olympia. At the age of 51, the Baltimore native stepped out of retirement to participate in the 2016 Olympia. He came in 16th. 3. Sean Ray Sean Ray, who finished on the Mr. Olympia podium in 2013, is one of the sport's smallest competitors at 5'5". When the age of the mass monsters began, the original giant killer began moving up the bodybuilding ranks. In his second year competing at the premier bodybuilding event, the 1988 Olympia, he finished third behind the two Lees. Ray participated in 13 Olympia competitions, and in 12 of them, he never finished lower than sixth. His debut Olympia performance in 1988 saw him place 13th, which was his lowest finish. At the Olympia in 1994 and 1996, Sugar finished second to Yates, while at the Olympia in 1990, 1993, and 1997, he finished third. Ray was chosen as the best bodybuilder never to win the Mr. Olympia in the Flex magazine issue from April 2003. 4. Kai Green Unquestionably, Kai Green is one of the most well-liked bodybuilders from the 2000 and 2010. He secured a fourth-place finish at his debut Mr. Olympia in 2009. In 2012 and 2014, the Predator lost three times to Phil Heath in the race for first place. In 2013, the year the Gift won his first Sando Trophy. He also finished third behind Heath and Cutler. It's interesting to note that Mr. Getting It Done signed posters as Kai Green, Mr. Olympia in 2013 and 2014 since he was so sure he would win the Mr. O. The 2014 Olympia's pose-off between Green and Heath ended up being the most intense in the program's history. They appeared to be only seconds away from striking each other. The Heath-Green affair will be remembered as one of the most intense rivalry in bodybuilding history. 
The three-time Arnold Classic champion last participated in 2016, but he hasn't yet declared his sport-related retirement. 5. Rich Gasperi Rich Gasperi's third place showing at the 1985 Olympia during his first year served as an announcement of his entry into the professional bodybuilding arena. Despite being one of the most prominent bodybuilders of his day, Gasperi is sometimes overlooked when compiling lists of the top competitors who were not Mr. Olympia champions. For three years in a row, from 1986 to 1988, Gasperi finished second behind his former training partner Haney thanks to excellent conditioning. One of the first bodybuilders to flaunt a grainy physique was the Dragon Slayer. He was the first bodybuilder to display the now commonplace striated glutes. At Columbus, Ohio, Gasperi won the first Arnold Classic in 1989. 6. Lee Labrada One of the top posers in professional bodybuilding is Lee Labrada. He was also one of the smallest and lightest contenders on the Mr. Olympia stage at 5 foot 6 and 185 pounds. Labrada placed second behind Haney at the 1989 and 1990 Mr. Olympia thanks to his genetics, muscle conditioning, symmetry, balance, quality, and stage presence. At the Mr. Olympia competitions in 1987 and 1992, he also finished in third place. For seven years, Labrada participated in the renowned Mr. Olympia and never finished lower than fourth. In addition, he placed in the top three in 19 of the 21 professional events he competed in. Hunter Labrada, the champion of the 2020 Tampa Pro, is descended from Lee Labrada. The younger Labrada is working extremely hard to finish what needs to be finished at the 2022 Olympia, which is set for December 15, 18 in Las Vegas, Nevada. 7. Mohamed Mekoi Contrary to popular belief, Mamdou Big Ramy Elspie wasn't the first Egyptian bodybuilder to make an appearance on the Mr. Olympia roster. 34 years before to Big Ramy's debut on the Olympia podium, Mohamed Makai finished second to Samir Banout in 1983 and Haney in 1984. The 5'4", 170-pound bodybuilder defeated considerably bigger and more chiseled opponents by using his muscle symmetry, quality, balance, and posing abilities. The professional career course of the Magic Egyptian was altered by hiring Vince Gironda. He improved from finishing 7th in the Olympiad of 1982 to coming in 2nd in the Olympiad of 1983. Together with Banout, he is one of only two bodybuilders to defeat Lee Haney in a Mr. Olympia matchup. According to experts, Haney narrowly defeated McCoy to win his first Olympics in 1984. McCoy stopped competing in bodybuilding competitions after placing 4th at the 1985 Olympia. 8. Nasser El Sonbidi One of the most contentious competitions for the Sando Trophy in the history of the sport took place at the 1997 Olympia. Yates, the five-time and current Olympia champion, was clearly not at his best because he suffered a torn left triceps when he joined the competition. Yet, Nasser El Sonbidi arrived in the best physical condition of his life. Yates won his sixth Sando Trophy despite a mediocre performance. Nonetheless, supporters thought El Sonbidi should have received it. In addition to finishing second at the 1997 Olympics, the professor also finished third at the Olympia in 1995 and 1998. The German bodybuilder finished third at the 1996 Olympia as well, but was later disqualified for a diuretic test positive. El Sonbidi spoke seven languages with ease. At the age of 47, the professor passed away in his sleep while on a trip to Egypt in 2013. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on all of our latest content. Your support means everything to us and we couldn't do this without you. So once again, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.